Tetraceratops was once classified as a pelicosaur, but is now thought to be the most primitive therapsid, intermediate between pelicosaurs and therapsids. It possessed a number of bony knobs or horns on its premaxillary, prefrontal, and angular bones. There are a number of characteristics on the teeth and jaws which unite Tetraceratops and all therapsids. There are also a number of traits which unite all therapsids other than Tetraceratops as being more advanced. So this species seems to be intermediate between the more primitive pelicosaurs and the more advanced therapsids. Eotitanosuchus, which could reach 6 meters in length, and Biarmosuchus, 1.5 to 2 meters in length, were among the earliest and most primitive therapsids. The pterygoid bone in the roof of the mouth still included teeth, unlike uh, later therapsids, and the two vomer bones of the nasal septum were only partially fused. The stapes had become smaller and was no longer a support in the back of the skull. There were additional post-canine teeth, a primitive feature, a large pubis, and the ilium was only slightly expanded. The femur had undergone a few modifications seen in later therapsids to promote a more upright position of the leg, such as a more medial head and two trochanters, bumps for muscle attachments. Biarmosuchus possessed more slender and more agile limb bones. One suborder of therapsids are known as the dinocephalians. They were large reptiles and dominated the therapsid fauna of North America and Russia from the early late Permian to the mid late Permian, at which point they became extinct. While some are carnivorous, many were herbivorous. They had thick skull bones and well developed incisors. Microscopic analysis of their bone indicates that they have more in common with warm blooded animals uh, than cold blooded animals. One measured more than four meters long. A suborder of the therapsids known as the aminodonts uh, included the dicynodonts, which evolved from the dinocephalians and largely replaced them. They were exclusively herbivores. In terms of numbers, they were the most successful of the early therapsids, and by the early Permian, their fossils can re represent more than 90% of the specimens found. They radiated again in the Triassic, persisting almost to the end of that period. Dicynodonts are unique among the therapsids in the development of a toothless beak for cropping vegetation. Many species also possess tusks for defense. The earliest dicynodont uh, measured only 30 centimeters in length. 